Today on Earth Focus, we're eating more shrimp, but at what price? The human, environmental, and social cost of shrimp farming in Bangladesh, and why it may affect your health. Coming up on Earth Focus. Offered in restaurants and sold in stores, tropical prawns are a popular choice of food across the Western world today. But how did this luxury product become affordable and at what cost? In a groundbreaking investigation, the Swedish Society for Nature Conservation travelled to Bangladesh to find out who is really paying the price for our newfound love of tropical prawns. The region of Kulna in southwestern Bangladesh is the country's leading producer of prawns for export overseas. It is at the centre of a bitter struggle, pitting thousands of impoverished people who are fighting to conserve their natural resources and livelihoods against the might of the prawn industry. <laughs> A farmer by profession, Noor Jahan Begum, like countless others, has lost her family's land to shrimp farming. Flooded with salt water by aggressive shrimp farmers, her family's once fertile cropland today lies under a prawn pond. She's not alone. <laughs> বৈরাগত মালিকদের মানে প্রশাসনিক কাঠামোকে আতে নিয়ে এগুলো দখল বুক দখল করার তাদের পক্ষে অত্যন্ত সহজ It is not just the communities where shrimp are cultivated that are threatened however The rivers in this region flow into the vast Sundarbans mangrove forest providing sanctuary to endangered species of river dolphins and crocodile whilst also providing a vital food resource to local communities but most shrimp farms in Bangladesh stock their ponds with wild-caught shrimp larvae, and these are caught in the rivers using very fine nets. For every shrimp caught, an average of 50 juvenile fish will die, and this practice is decimating the marine environment. <laughs> Embankments are used in this region of coastal Bangladesh to protect farmland and communities from storms that regularly hit this coastline. But shrimp farmers in Bangladesh illegally build drainage systems through the embankments, and the consequences of this have proven to be catastrophic during times of extreme weather. Cyclone Ayla struck Bangladesh several years ago. <laughs> ভেঙে <laughs> এবং এটা ধ্বংস হওয়ার মূল কারণ হচ্ছে এখানে চিংড়ি চাষ করায় নদীর ভাঙন হচ্ছে মানে প্রাকৃতিক দুর্যোগে ইফেক্ট হচ্ছে তাতে আমাদের জমি জমা নষ্ট হচ্ছে আমাদের মানুষের জীবনযাত্রার ক্ষতি হচ্ছে আমাদের এলাকার মানুষের নেই ইনকাম মানুষের এই আইলার পরে আমরা 
During the course of the investigation, our team also uncovered disturbing evidence to suggest that illegal chemicals are being regularly and routinely used in shrimp farms destined for European markets. Mulato eta India theke niya shai jono, jeta dille, bhalo kaaz hoy, evang eksho te eksho result pao jayar ke. E jono mulato, kintu eta uttan to khoti karok, karon eta mene nijebe aur korsi, nijebe aur korsi, mene apna ke ami kibabe bojabo, yer khoti dhoron, je inlet pipe the pani dhukte se, mader bhij jomi the, thik shai mohte amar oshotra puray korar porsilo, ani sorot jebon to gaye silo. এবং তো কিছুই ছিল না এমন কি সাপ মারা গিয়েছিল ওইখানকার যারা তৎকালীন সময় মৎস্য চাষ করেন আমাকে ডেকে নিয়ে গিয়েছিল যে তুমি কি ওষুধ ব্যবহার করছো The household name of the chemical he is referring to is hildan an endosulfan that is banned in Bangladesh and over 80 other countries around the world Endosulfan is a broad spectrum insecticide Endosulfan's been around for years it's a very old chemical uh, it's aimed at killing insects uh, and, and preventing them from becoming pests. The impact of endosulfan on the marine environment is disastrous. Um, it's a persistent chemical, it's an incredibly toxic chemical, it's one that affects nearly every element of the aquatic ecosystem from, uh, the, from snails through to fish through to amphibians. All the way up the food chain it has an impact. Endosulfan is banned in a huge number of countries around the world and it's banned for a reason. That's because it's dangerous, that it damages the environment. So my message to consumers uh, who eat prawns from, from ponds where endosulfan might be in use is, don't do it. It is not just the unregulated use of illegal chemicals that consumers should be worried about. In 2010, a British film crew also uncovered evidence of routine adulteration of shrimp destined for factories that supply the EU. In this footage, the trader demonstrates how shrimp from this region in Bangladesh are secretly injected with dirty water to add weight and thus profit before they are sold onto the factories. Some NGOs and aid agencies have often claimed that the export-orientated shrimp industry in Bangladesh is necessary for development. Kushi Kabir is the coordinator of Nigeria Kori, a movement of over 200,000 landless and marginalised people affected by commercial shrimp aquaculture. It is anti-development. People who are living in areas where shrimp is being cultivated are being completely devoid of their livelihoods, of their lives often, because there's so much violence. It's a system that's totally non-sustainable. And just to provide some food for people to be able to eat cheaply in the northern countries and the consumer countries, how can that be development? Faced with the loss of their land and livelihood, our investigation found that those who oppose the shrimp industry are often met with intimidation, violence and false charges from corrupt local judiciaries who favour the shrimp farmers. আন্দোলন করতেছিস এই আন্দোলন করে তোদের হচ্ছে এটা কি বা নিজেরা করি কারা এগুলো করিস কেন Allegations of sexual harassment towards women in rural communities by those employed in the shrimp industry are also commonplace. Rafisa is one of the few prepared to speak out against the shrimp farm employee who raped her in 2008. <laughs> Our research into Bangladesh showed that the Bangladeshi shrimp industry in Kulna has forged a brutal path of ongoing ecological destruction and human rights abuses for the last two decades, subjecting thousands of people to extreme poverty 
whilst also potentially undermining the health of consumers. But it doesn't have to be like this. Umila Sardar lives on Polder 22, one of a few areas that has managed to successfully get rid of shrimp farms, and the difference is striking. The message from the communities affected by shrimp farming is clear. বর্জন করে কাগর কেনা কে কে সালির দাম চল্লিশ পঁয়ত্রিশটা চল্লিশ টাকা তো আমরা একই সাইল কিনে খাবো না আমরা ভরুন এখন কাগর কিনে ভরবো যে কি কষ্টের মধ্যে দিন যাচ্ছে যার তো বলার মতন না এ যারা বাগদা চিংড়ি ইয়ে করে চাষ করে এই এরা যে গরিব মানুষের রক্ত শুষিয়ে ইজ্জত নিয়ে তাদেরকে কত বিভিন্ন ধরনের শোষণ করে এই বাগদা চিংড়িটা তারা চাষ করে আর চাষ করে এইটা বিদেশে রপ্তানি করছে দয়া করে এই বাংলাদেশের এই চিংড়িটা যেন তারা না কেনে আমি তাদেরকে অনুরোধ করব অন বিক্রি হয়ে যায় তাহলে আর আমরা কোনো এটা যদি বিক্রি বন্ধ হয়ে যায় কোনো দিন তাহলে সুখে Will you stand by the affected people and ecosystems of Bangladesh that are impacted by shrimp farming? Join them and say no to tropical prawns today. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.